Hey there, this is another video showing you how to use Freeze auto-generated applications. This is the video that's going to go into routes and controllers. If you haven't watched any of the previous videos, you may want to check those out first. Uh, so let's take a look at this packages page. So what do we have here? On our URL, localhost slash cargo, that's just the root of my application. Now slash packages, we don't have any folder called packages. So how is packages pulling this up? So let's take a look at the code. Okay, so the HT access file is what's actually telling Apache to map these friendly URLs. So what connects the URLs to a controller and a method is in Freeze what's known as the route map. And the route map is configured inside appconfig.php. If we scroll down just a little bit, we'll see global config route map equals, and this is a big array. This is really a multi-dimensional array, and it gives us a chance to connect a URL to a controller and a method. Now let's take a look at this again. We're looking at packages. So this is a simple route, it's just packages. That's all there is to it. So if we look at our route map, we'll find get packages is right here. And the value of this is an array that contains a route and it says package.listview. What that means is the package controller and the method inside the package controller called listview. And if we take a look at that inside lives controller, package controller, there is a method called listview and it just simply renders the view. So I'm going to show you how to create a new route that maps to your own method. Okay, so to define in a route, the first thing we do is we say the method get, post, put, etc. This is going to be a get request. And the URL is going to be example. Now I need to assign a value to that, and the value is going to be another array. And inside the array, I'm required to put in a route. And the value of that is the controller and a period and the method. So we're just going to freeload off of the package controller for now. And I'm going to say example. So the get example is going to map to package.example. Let's save that. Now let's go into the package controller. Let's create a method called public function example. And inside here, all we're going to do is echo example. So let's take a look at that example. There we go. So we just mapped this URL over to a controller and a method. Now the next thing that you're going to need to know how to do is uh, say we wanted to have parameters on here. We wanted to get example 22. Now if I go there right now, I'm just going to get a page not found error. Not what we want because there's no route that points to that. Now how do we get a route to point to that? Um, so the way we do that is we say example slash and then we're going to get a number so we're going to put in a placeholder and the router is going to then look at this placeholder. This was actually borrowed from Code Igniter. Now I'm going to map this to example2. So let's go into the package controller. And we'll say example2, example2. And we did. So we've got a route mapped for example slash 22. How do we get this number 22? That would be the next thing that we would want to do is how to get things out of the URL. Now, one way you could do that is you could actually just parse the URL inside the controller. But what would happen is that your controllers would now be too tightly integrated with your URLs. And the controllers really shouldn't have any knowledge about the URL. What has knowledge about URLs is the route map. We can now supply a second value in this array, params. And what we're going to do is we're going to tell the router what params are in this URL. And it's another array. A lot of arrays here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to assign a name to this parameter. And the way we assign a name is by the index within the URL uh, using these slashes as the delimiter. So example, this text example would be zero and then the slash num would be one. We need to get the parameter that is located at the number one position in this URL as far as the path. 
uh, and we need to give it a name. So we're gonna give this the name, we're gonna call this example number, and we gotta specify what position that's located in the URL, it's at position one. Now inside our controller, if we wanna get to that, we simply say uh, x equals this, get router, get URL param, and then the key. Now the nice thing about this is that inside our controller here, it doesn't know anything about the URL. It has no idea how the URL is constructed. The router knows how the URL is constructed, so it's going to ask the router, give me the URL parameter that is named example number. It lets the router handle that. That's what we call separation of concerns. Let's just print this out. Now, we would never do this in a real application. We would never just echo user input straight to the browser. I'm only doing this because I don't want to put in a bunch of view code when all I'm trying to do is show you how to uh, get your parameter values out. So we can see there we got the number 22 and we passed in 22. This is considered part of the URL. We still have query string stuff. So we can say var1 equals value1 and var2 equals value2. So that doesn't affect the route at all to do a query string. In order to get those values, I'm just going to get I'm just going to get v var2 uh, only. We use a static class for that called request util. You could actually use the PHP super global just you know underscore request, but request util has a bunch of very very helpful functions in there for sanitizing input, dealing with uh, different character sets, getting dates, files, etc. var2. So now we're going to print out the output of R2. Again, horrible, horrible, horrible idea. Never do this in your application. We're only doing this just to prove that we're able to get these values out of the URL. OK, I refreshed it. There we go. Value 2, value 2. That, in a nutshell, is how the routing and controllers work. And in the next video, I'm going to get into the model code, which is where we start talking to the database, querying, reading, and updating records. Thanks a bunch for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.